Greetings and blessings to each of you. We're happy once again to uh, present ourselves and the Word of God, as well as some of our commentary about what's going on in our world today, and to have the opportunity uh, to be a witness of the things that God continues to do uh, in uh, my life. Uh, I am excited, as this is the first time I'm making an appearance here uh, in um, 2023, and I have much to be thankful for as we look abroad and look further into the year, uh, believing that this is a blessed day, a blessed year, a blessed moment uh, in the Lord. Uh, today, uh, as I think about our topic, God set time, and the fact that as we entered this year, we were thinking about God's timing, uh, the fact that God has a time to come through for us. He has a time, a special moment uh, to um, present himself uh, in a great way, uh, in such a way that you'll never, ever forget uh, God's revelation, uh, God's presence, and how he has certainly uh, delivered and set you free. Now, as we think about uh, the Lord today, uh, we think about him not only in respect of his timing, but also in respect of the deliverance uh, and his intentional purposes. Now, God has a set time to deliver uh, on his promises to uh, manifest uh, what he has declared. He has set a time to raise you up. He has set a time to show up in your life, uh, even to this day. Uh, we count on God. We lean on him. We depend on him. Uh, we trust him uh, to bring things to pass uh, that even seem to be impossible. But with God, we've learned by now that all things are possible uh, with him. Now, Paul reminds the Galatians, particularly in chapter 4, about God's activities to gather his people he guides them to obedience, that is, the Lord guides us to obey and uh, to understand the concept of righteousness as Israel did through the Mosaic law. Uh, God taught his people the, the priorities of reverence, devotion, and commitment to the one true God. It's wonderful when you think about the fact that God helps us to understand the necessity uh, for having him in our life from day to day. God allows experiences in our life to teach us. God uh, speaks his word uh, so that we can understand and receive the help of the Holy Spirit in uh, comprehending what God is saying to us today. Uh, but we realize that at the end of, the, of it all, uh, that we need the Lord uh, in our lives. Now, Paul identifies himself uh, with the Galatians by saying, we were children in bondage under the elements of this world. We were in a place, uh, we were stuck uh, we were given to our own uh, selfish appetites. Uh, we did not explore uh, God like we should have. Uh, we fell short of the mark, fell short of the glory of God. We were children in bondage. We were in bondage. We were bound. We were enslaved in a terrible predicament whereby the world had an undue influence upon us. We were stuck under the principles, the rules, and guidance of this world. Our backs were turned toward God. We had no desire to seek after him uh, like we should have. Uh, we were in sin and devoid of a viable relationship with God. The law was good 
for Israel in some ways, but we fell short of righteousness, fell short of peace with God. We were in a bad spiritual place. And some of you can attest to that, that there was a moment in your life where you were not attuned to the things of God. There was a time period in your life that you did not seek after him. But I'm glad that the prophet says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. There is hope for you today if you have not sought him. There is hope for you today that you can connect uh, with him right where you are. There is hope for you today that God will reveal himself to you so that you too can say yes to God, yes to his will, and yes to his way. Now, Paul says that when the fullness of time had come, now that's an important statement right there, or at least part of a statement, that when the fullness of time had come. Think about this historically, what it meant to Israel and what it meant to the coming of the Savior uh, during the first century. Think about it historically. Think about it personally, uh, that when God uh, came into your life, presented himself to you, turned the light bulb on, allowed you to understand that this is the day to allow God to take his place in your life. Now, God took the initiative to do something about man's condition and about his failures. God took the steps to bring us back to himself. We recognized his works, his grace and mercy in human time and circumstances. We recognize that it was God who was a present help in the time of need. We recognize that even when our hearts were not turned toward him, that God was still keeping you. He was helping you to survive from day to day. He brought you to the moment where you too could be thankful for what God had done in your life. Uh, we perceive God's dealings in a timely manner, that is, on God's time. Uh, that is, God somehow brought us uh, within his own plan. Uh, God brought us within his own purpose to that moment that we could see things just a little bit better. He opened your understanding so that you could receive the truth. Now, God well, uh, it may have taken us a while, and I don't want to blame this on God. I want to say it may have taken us a while to get where we needed to be. But in it, through it all and in it all, God helped us to get there right on time. God met us, reached out to us at the right time and uh, at the right place. Uh, God did it. Oh, yes, he did. After the fullness had, of time had come for you. Uh, he got to you in the nick of time. God's timing, as you know, is critical for your deliverance. Grace and mercy met you at the right place and the right time. Be encouraged today because God is working on your behalf. God bless you.